welcome to another episode of Epoch Armor 3 101. Today we're going to be talking about keybinds. The first thing we're going to talk about is rubbish piles. This bag and the rubbish piles over there can be searched to find usable loot. Simply walk up to them and press T. This will squish the item and deposit the loot upon the ground. You can either pick up the item via the scroll wheel or pressing I and dragging and dropping it into your inventory. Loot is not always guaranteed to be dropped. The next few video clips will show you loot piles that you can search via the T function. To start off with, just a basic rubbish pile. The next rubbish pile is the same, but has a crate. Baskets such as this with potatoes can also be searched. Other rubbish piles with bags can also be searched. Using the T function can make you receive a large quantity of loot if you find a lot of loot piles. These bags are also lootable and so is the bin we just passed. This crate here is also lootable. Rubbish bins and anything to do with rubbish or food crates can be looted. What I had not previously explained is when searching rubbish piles such as this it increases your soil level. This attracts creatures and monsters to your area such as this one. These monsters can also be searched via the T interaction. Simply walk up to them, aim at the monster, and press T. The item will then spawn at your feet with a small blood puddle. This can be still picked up via the eye or scroll menu for the hand, as demonstrated. Goats or other natural wildlife work in the same manner. Killing the animal, walking up, and pressing T. Will harvest the carcass, either producing a lump of meat or the hide. Now let's talk about item interaction and inventory. Open your inventory using I and double left click on any item to interact with it. This will open the interaction menu. The crafting options are shown on the right whilst the consumptions are shown in buttons below the material. We could either craft a metal shelf or a large metal pile with this item. The amount of the material required is clearly shown below. One out of three with a cross, demonstrating we do not have enough of this item to craft that item. If we did, a box would be shown at the bottom saying craft and also a drop down box showing if we wanted to craft additional of the same things. You can leave the menu by clicking cancel. I'm now going to demonstrate how to open your debug monitor. Either click the till key or the key left of the number one. The debug monitor displays many key characteristics and figures of the game. This includes your currency, temperature, stamina, energy and hunger. Now, let's go on to one of the best features of the game. I love the swear feature. You see a player, you can swear at him with the new emoticon feature added by Epoch Mod. First, work out your salute key. This is normally the hashtag key or it is the slash key. Ensure this is functioning correctly before you try the next step. Next, ensure that your weapons are holstered. Alas, the feature will not work. Click control and then your salute key will bring up the swear animation. Another important hotkey is M to open your map to allow navigation. I is used to interact with traders and bring up this three stage menu. To add an item, simply double left click like the crafting shown before. This will add it to the sell or buy tab. If you want an in-depth tutorial of shops, visit the Epoch 101 guide to traders. A link will be in the annotation on your screen now. I'm now going to demonstrate how you search items within a building. Simply walk up to it, scroll and click the search option. You can either pick items up by clicking I, dragging and dropping into the specific media you wish to store it, or by scrolling and the hand option. 
some items that you can loot have special functions, such as that mirror, which looks pretty cool. Make sure you check buildings thoroughly, because the mods like to hide items in hidden buildings. If items in the house look like they've already been searched, well, they have. But it doesn't mean everybody's taken everything, so it's still worth a look around. But just be wary, because that means there's somebody in the town. Currently, you can see me mucking around with my inventory, trying to gain additional inventory space to store additional items. Later in this video, I will tell you how to manage your inventory. This is key to surviving on Armour 3 Epoch. As we talked before, inventory management is key to allow you to store as many items as possible in Armour 3 Epoch. You have three different media you can store in. Your clothes, your chest storage and your backpack. The backpack is mainly used for storing extra guns. The chest cannot store a gun, whilst the clothes can store at best a pistol. The clothes are very limited to storage. The white bar at the bottom of the medium it illustrates how full or empty the item medium is. You can move items by simply dragging and dropping on the media, or change media by simply clicking on it at the top. Now let's talk about holstering. Press H with a weapon out will holster your weapon. Larger weapons will be placed upon your back, whilst pistols will be placed in your side holder. As shown. If you have just holstered a weapon, pressing H again will extract that weapon. To extract your other weapon, simply unholster one weapon, scroll and click to unholster the other weapon. You can lower your weapon by double tapping control. This shows a sign of friendliness. You can crouch by using X and prone by using Z. Pan your camera left and right by using the number pad. To throw a grenade, click G. The item you are going to throw is illustrated on the bottom right of your screen. That was a glow stick. The next will be a red smoke grenade. Thank you for watching this series of Epoch 101. Hotkeys. Yeah.